Bill Bryant and Barbara Bailey here for WKYT as the news continues. She says she won't let a fire put her out of business. Today, the owner of a Madison County auction house is starting to rebuild. Her business is located in the same building as Midway Old Kentucky on Berea Road in Richmond. It burned on Saturday. WKYT's Sean Moody shows us what it'll take for the auction house to open again and our top story at 1230. Sean? That fire did a lot of damage to the inventory at Midway Old Kentucky Furniture. It also damaged Janet's auction house. It's at the back of this building today, though. The owner says she's doing what she can to get back open as soon as possible. Janet's auction house is at the back end of the building. The flames stopped short of that part of the building, but Janet Roberts says there is some smoke and water damage. You can see up around the top where it was trying to come through. Right now, she's trying to clean up and figure out what can be saved. If it was warm and I could set everything out, and clean the building and then clean the stuff and put it in, it'd be good. But now when it's 30 degrees, it's going to be hard to do that. I'll just have to wait and see and pray, do a lot of praying. She said Saturday was tough, saying her business nearly lost in a fire like that, but now she's got her sights set on moving forward. I've already done all my crying, so I'm not I'm done with the crying. So now we'll just push forward and get through it. Uh, Janet told me she had hoped to have her auction back up and running in time for this Saturday night. She's not sure that will happen, but she says they'll be up and running as soon as they can. In Madison County, Sean Moody, WKYT. Now, investigators haven't determined how that fire started.